Learning to defend against the sequence of moves shown here a snap down into a guillotine choke is of paramount importance. The reason is simple. Pulling an opponent's head down and locking the neck is a very common move, both among seasoned grapplers and street fighters. It is a very simple, yet highly effective move. Even experienced grapplers can fall victim to it if it is well applied. It can be used very effectively in a wide array of situations and will quickly result in unconsciousness if applied well. 1. Bobby reaches out with his left hand and grabs John behind the neck. This can be a very dominating grip. Many good grapplers use this grip to snap down their opponent's head into a guillotine choke or front headlock. Used well, it is very difficult to resist. In the context of a street fight, it is often used by tall, strong men to dominate smaller opponents. 2. Bobby snaps down John's head and begins to bring his right arm over to entrap John in a guillotine choke. 3. Bobby locks the guillotine choke by grabbing his right wrist with his left hand. There is real danger now for John. If he does not react, he can be choked very effectively. John immediately places his hands on the front of Bobby's thighs just above the knees. 4. John steps in deeply between Bobby's legs with his right leg. A deep penetration step is vital here. 5. John sits down on his buttocks and pushes up with both hands. He has penetrated so far under Bobby that when he sits, he effectively places a fulcrum under Bobby's feet over which Bobby has no choice but to rotate. John's arms pushing upon Bobby's thighs add to the effect. The result is that Bobby is easily tossed over John's head. 6. John has removed the danger in a spectacular and potentially punishing way. He is now free to get up and escape or quickly take a top position and continue the fight. 